Welcome to Art File, our weekly cultural forum, featuring Godfrey Bullingdon, critic at large. Here, Godfrey considers the new release by Bill Baird, American recording artist. Bill Baird has completed an album of new songs. It is called Gone. He recorded the album in four days. That's it. Four days. He purports this claim as if it was some sort of achievement. However, I for one am unimpressed. He thinks the rapid pace gives the music an immediacy and emotional character unlike his previous work. For my part, I prefer it when an artist agonizes over his three-minute pop songs for months on end, gnashing his teeth and grinding out every note until what few hairs he has left on his head are grey and frazzled. Then I know the artist has earned my respect. It also means the artist will probably live a few years less, which is very kind of him and makes room for the next generation of teeth gnashers. Bill says it's the best album he's ever done. Good on you, chap. I haven't actually heard your other albums, so I must take your word for it. There are no long segues, no characters, no flute solos, no elaborate concepts. Bill gathered some good friends, showed them the song, and then they recorded the song live. Then a full band overdub, where everybody switches instruments but plays the same parts. What does that even mean, Bill? From what I've heard, it covers a lot of different sonic terrain. But as a concise, cohesive statement about being alive as a human being on planet Earth, I think it expresses how he feels about as best he can. He's the proverbial cave painter, leaving his doodle on the walls of Lascaux. Except, of course, this is not a cave, but digital ephemera. Oh, pardon me, I've been informed there will be vinyl manufactured. Perhaps we can print the record on the side of some cavern walls. Bill says the music is meant as a call across time, like those caverns of yore. Okay then, good luck with that. Which reminds me, my time here is up. You can find Bill Baird's new album, Gotten, at a fine record shop near you, or on one of the bazillion digital music marketplaces.